she is the brightest and most innovative. The best campaign strategist in the game. Responsible for the greatest political upset in history. You're a fighter, Jane. I'm giving you another shot at the title. When we first meet Jane Bodine, she's someone who has had to remove herself from the world that she'd spent most of her life in. We meet her at a very vulnerable point in her life, and the doorbell rings, and she's summoned to get back in action, kind of like a gunslinger might be called back to right a wrong in the Old West. It's a presidential campaign in South America, Jane. How far are you behind? 28 points. <laughs> the opposition has hired their own American, Pat Candy. There she is, Jane Bodine. Pat? Pat Candy is Jane's ultimate rival. They have a history. And so when we first meet in the movie, it's like, oh, no, here he comes. And I'm like, oh, good, there she is. What happened to your hair? You still got a great sense of humor. It's going to be a good one. He was the one predominantly responsible for the demise in her career. He's a playful villain sitting there kind of poking at her. She finds herself very motivated, driven, and competitive with Hat Candy, which is kind of what starts to light the fires in her. Jane, how many times have you gone against Candy? Uh, three or four times. How many times has he beat you? Uh, three or four times. I love these adversarial relationships that also have just a hint of affection. I'm gonna strip the bark off you, buddy. I'll see you out there. It makes the rivalry greater and also makes your desire for her to win greater. Hey, uh, off. Gracias. Stop the train. In our original script, it was a man who was the lead protagonist. And then Sandy had read it, and she's like, God, well, there's no roles like this for us. And I thought, let's completely change it. Let's make her a woman. The thing I loved about this role was that there didn't seem to be any boundaries for the character, I mean, both emotionally and in tone. I've worked with a lot of actors and actresses over the years, and working with Sandy has been a real joy. The duality she's bringing to this character is very fun, because she's still funny, goofy acting Sandy, but at the same time, there's a certain humbleness that she brings to Jane that's very heartbreaking and beautiful. I think people are going to be surprised by Sandy's performance, for sure. I think they're going to see her in a way that they've never seen her before. It is a role like no other. It allowed me to do something different. I am the one running for president. Okay. I am the one in charge. No. Do you understand? No, no, no. You can't repeat anything that you've ever done before. You should do things that are just scary and frightening. I knew that this was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'm not going to stand by and watch as this nation falls apart. This is no longer an election. This is a crisis.